Okay, in this video, uh, I'm going to demonstrate the Hewlett Packard HP 41CV calculator. And this was a, a programmable scientific calculator. It has uh, lots of built in math and engineering functions. Um, you can program it, uh, program keystrokes, um, and well, as well as using decision logic. So you can use like if statements and loops, you can test flags, um, all that kind of thing. And this was produced from 1980 to 1990, and the introduction price was about $325 U.S. dollars, and that's about $480 in today's dollars adjusted for inflation. So it was it was kind of expensive, uh, but it was pretty powerful uh, at the time anyway. And one of the interesting things about uh, this HP calculator, and um, um, I think all of the HP calculators that were uh, produced at that time was that it's based on what's called reverse Polish notation and that is based on something called Polish notation which was invented by Jan Łukasiewicz, uh, a Polish philosopher. And basically for Polish notation instead of having a, an operand and then an operator and then an operand you would have the uh, operators on the left of the operands. So then for reverse Polish you would have operators on the right of the operands. And uh, this was a parentheses free notation. Uh, there's no equal signs. I'll kind of demonstrate how that works um, in the video. And uh, this uh, this calculator also contained uh, four slots for e expansion modules. Okay so this is going to be a quick uh, demo of the basic operation of the calculator. So when you turn it on, you're in what's called uh, normal execution mode. So you can do just regular calculations. Um, this is kind of the normal mode you're in when you're running um, programs and stuff. <clears throat> There's another mode called user mode. Um, so basically this, this allows you to set um, programs and functions uh, to key, so so kind of like shortcuts, so you can override what these key meanings mean when you're in user mode. Um, so the other mode is programming mode, and this is where you write and edit uh, programs. And if we go to one, okay, so this one's uh, area of a circle. Um, you have the line number and then the instruction. Uh, the first instruction is the label, the global label, and that's the basically the name of the program. You can it's kind of single whoop, single step through these, and it kind of shows you what the instructions are, and you can get out of program mode. So if I wanted to run that, I would do execute, then I'll go to alpha mode. So this allows you to enter. Um, alphabetic text so that was called area so a R E A, and I think I actually screwed my program up let's see yeah I accidentally entered a tangent in there so let me go well, this would be a good demo I guess how to erase how to edit these things so yeah, that's the that's the instruction I accidentally entered, so I'm just gonna delete that. Okay, and get out of program mode. So let's run that again. So, so this will do the area of a circle. Uh, area. Okay, so it's gonna prompt me for the radius. So let's do five. Then you can run stop, and then. That calculates the area. Uh, so anyway, um, you're sort of limited on your programming space. You have to be kind of efficient on how you write these. Um, in programming, um, like I said before, you can do a lot of um, uh, like if statements and checking on flags. That's kind of how you do branches. Um, in this programming language, and it's a little bit similar to assembly in that regard. Um, so anyway, that was kind of the basic operation. And also, 
So for this reverse Polish notation, so how you do that, like I said, the, the operator is going to be on the right of the operands. And what that means, so if I wanted to add two numbers, it's like two and three, so you do two enter, three plus. So plus is the uh, operator, so that's going to be on the right. So there's no equal sign, and this, uh, you don't really see it on a simple calculation like that, but for long calculations, using reverse post notation can really save you a lot of keystrokes. And um, I'll kind of show you how that works with this, uh, with the register stack that the HP 41 uses. Okay, so this diagram sh demonstrates um, how the registers in the in the HP 41 uh, work with reverse Polish notation. And so for this pretty simple calculation, it's going to divide 32 by um, 5 squared minus, minus 9. And you can see there's, uh, there's four registers on this stack, uh, X, Y, Z, and T. There's also a last X, but that's, um, that's not really important for the, the RPN uh, calculations. So to, to do this calculation, what you would do is uh, you would type in 32, and that goes into the X register. And the X register is what's displayed on the calculator screen. You don't see these other registers. You can, you, you gotta scroll through them, but by default, uh, X is what you're gonna see. So you do 32, and then when you do enter, that's gonna push the stack up. So that's gonna push uh, 32 into the Y register. And then you enter, um, uh, the next part of the equation is gonna be five, so that goes into the X register. And then you do the squared function. That's gonna put the result of uh, five squared into the X register. And then you're going to enter 9, and then minus. That's going to put the result of that in the X register. Then you do divide, okay, and then that's going to put the result of that into the X register. And so this is what I was talking about when I say the operator is on the right and the operands are on the left. So you can see, um, so for example, when to take... Uh, the five squared, you, you do five, and then on the right is going to be the squared, and then you would enter nine, and then on the right of that is going to be minus, and then finally um, you're going to do divide, which is on the right of all this. So you can do these calculations without ever entering any parentheses or equal signs, and the, the longer the calculation is, the more uh, keystrokes you save using this type of notation. Okay, so I mentioned there were four slots where you could add um, expansion modules. I have two of the slots filled. One is uh, it's called HP 41 Advantage, and that's kind of just some general um, engineering and math um, programs. So this doesn't take up the internal memory uh, storage of the calculator. So all the all the storage for these programs are included. In these in these slots, the other is the thermal. That's for uh, like thermodynamics and heat transfer type functions, and these just kind of pop pop out. This is kind of what they look like. Okay, so they made they made several of these. Um, I don't know. I think I think a couple dozen. Um, they had some for business. Most of them were for uh, engineering and in math i think they had some for electrical engineering um so this is the some of the documentation so this is this is for the thermal one and it's let's see so these are some of the the, the functions it had and then for advantage so for advantage, um, did matrices, functions, uh, equation roots, polynomial um, functions, differential equations, complex numbers for electrical engineers, vector operations, coordinate transfer, uh, number of transfers, conversions and Boolean logic. So like for programmers, you could convert between uh, octal, decimal, uh, hexadecimal, binary, that kind of thing. Oh yeah, curve fitting, time value, money, that kind of stuff. 
And then, so this is the manual that came with it, which is just the basic operations manual. And pretty good manual. This one was called Operation in Details. So if um, this covered a lot more of the, kind of the programming, um, kind of more advanced programming type stuff. And this was. So it's, these manuals are good, lots of examples. Um, so anyway, this is a, it's a good calculator. Uh, I still use it. It's, um, you know, m most operating systems have scientific calculators, even like Linux and, and OS X and in the Windows that have scientific modes. But uh, if I'm not logged into a computer, um, I always keep this around. It's, um, you know, it's pretty powerful even, even now. And learning reverse Polish notation was... It was different. It was a little bit of a learning curve at first, but once you start doing it, it's it really makes sense. Very logical.